but first we're going to talk about the products you need to do your automotive clear coat on your playfield. Um, to start, especially if you have, have a real gunky playfield, uh, you need a little Windex and some kind of a good finishing cloth, diaper cloth type rag at these auto parts store. Um, just don't spray this on the playfield, spray it right on the rag, that'll get the gunk off. After you get the gunk off the playfield, your next product will be Magic Eraser. Get these at the supermarket or your hardware store. Uh, with the Magic Eraser, you'll need uh, rubbing alcohol. Make sure it's 91% alcohol. Don't get the 51%. Make sure it's 91%. Um, this is what you're going to put on the Magic Eraser to clean um, not only the gunk off the play field, but this will take all your ball swirls and stuff like that out. After your Magic Eraser and alcohol, the next product you're going to need is Nuvis 2. Uh, you should have this anyway. Uh, every pinball guy uses Nuvis 2 for just about everything. Uh, the Nuvis 2 will take the white residue off that the Magic Eraser and the alcohol leaves. After you Nuvis 2, uh, you're going to want to clean the play field with naphtha. Uh, what the naphtha does is it will remove any wax residue, fingerprints, the oil from your fingerprints, uh, or anything else that's left on the play field. Uh, the naphtha will take it off. It's quick drying, um, and uh, you'll go through a lot of this. So after that is the clear coat. Uh, there's a lot of different automotive clear coats you can use. I happen to prefer this DuPont Chroma Clear. This is the 7776 version of the DuPont Chroma Clear. It is a little pricey. Uh, this is between $65 to $75 uh, for a quart of the product and the activator. Um, there are cheaper products. You could go with the PPG shop line, probably say $15 to $20. Uh, it's entirely up to you. I happen to start with the DuPont product and I really like the DuPont product. Um, so this is the only product I use. Uh, to me, I feel it's worth the extra 10 to $20 that this product costs. Uh, this is a mix of four to one. It's four parts of product, the Chroma Clear, to one part activator. Um, there's three different activators. I just use the one in the, the, uh, the temperature range activator in the middle because uh, I kind of spray all year round. So the middle activator is the one to go with. Uh, with your activator, a product you can also pick up at the body, body shop is Smoothie. Uh, what Smoothie is, is it prevents fish eyes. This is very important uh, for any of the moisture that is in your airline or any wax residue that happens to be on the play field. When this clear coat product hits a spot of wax or an oily fingerprint that's left on the play field, it's going to separate, which leaves what they call a fish eye. Um, this Smoothie almost 100% eliminates that problem. Um, so make sure you pick up Smoothie and use it with your clear coat. Um, it's very important. Other products you'll need uh, when you get to the part of uh, buffing your, your uh, play field, you'll need a good uh, polishing compound. I like the 3M line of products for that. After you use the medium cut buffing compound, you'll want a swirl remover. Uh, that takes out, after you do the rubbing compound with your orbital uh, polisher, uh, it leaves little swirls in the uh, clear coat, uh, especially under lights like I have in here, fluorescent lights. Uh, you really see those swirls, so the uh, swirl remover will help to take them out. And then after the swirl remover, you'll want to use the Nuvis 2 again. Um, as that's what I use as my final buff. And another product you'll need is lacquer thinner. Uh, the only thing I use the lacquer thinner for is for cleaning my gun when I'm done. Um, do not put any lacquer thinner on your play field. This, this is strictly just for uh, cleaning out your gun when you're done. And as far as buffers, uh, you have a couple options for buffers. Uh, one that I highly recommend for every pinball person is the WEN 4-inch buffer. Uh, it uses these little 4-inch Velcro buffing pads. Um, it's uh, nice for play fields. Uh, if you're buffing a play field that uh, is kind of all together in your game, you can use this. Uh, to do a quick Nuvis 2 clean and to buff off your wax during a wax job. Uh, check this out online. I think it was about $59.99 when I bought it, but they, they may even be cheaper than that now. Uh, another product that's good to have for buffing your play fields is a 7-inch. This is a 7-inch automotive style uh, polisher buffer. Um, I picked this one at, up at Harbor Freight for probably 50 or $60. Bucks. Uh, I highly recommend one of these, but it's not required. You can do everything with the WEN 4-inch uh, buffer. You could also do all the buffing by hand if you wanted to. If you just want to use some uh, finishing cloths, you could do all this buffing um, by hand. But I recommend at least the WEN 4-inch uh, buffer for that. The other thing you're going to need, of course, is a 
HVLP spray gun, I, I recommend. You could use a conventional spray gun. Uh, you might save a couple bucks, but uh, for a beginner or a novice to uh, spray in with this type of equipment, the, HVP, the HVLP gun is uh, much easier to use. Uh, not quite as much overspray uh, with this either. Um, again, I got this one at Harbor Freight. This is the Harbor Freight Purple HVLP gun. Regular price on this, I believe, is around 70 or 80 bucks. Uh, but they're always on sale. Uh, and there's always Harbor Freight coupons out there. I think I paid $29.99 for this gun. I've been using it for a couple years, and it's a great gun. Um, the other thing I use, I, I have this little ex extension line that I use that I have my second moisture filter. The first moisture filter is back on the compressor. This is my second moisture fi filter. And also, when you're at the auto parts store or the Harbor Freight, make sure you pick up a couple of these disposable uh, moisture ones. These screw right onto the bottom of your gun. Use them once, toss them out, get another one. They cost a buck or two um, at the parts store or the Harbor Freight store. And uh, that, the only other thing you'll need is uh, sandpaper. Uh, you'll need 600 grit, 800 grit, and then 1,000, 1,200, 1,500, and 2,000 are the grits I use. Uh, these real fine grits, like 1,000 and up, uh, these are hard to find uh, locally, so pick these up at the auto body shop. These happen to be 3M. Um, these are high quality wet dry sandpapers. Um, so you'll definitely need you know, at least a pack of each uh, if you're going to do a couple play fields. And then uh, the other thing you'll need is I just use a regular 2 or $3 sanding block. Uh, this really helps when you're leveling the uh, clear coat on the play field to have the nice flat surface. You could also use a block of wood, just wrap your sandpaper around that. Uh, I happen to like these. They're, they're a little rubberized and they feel good in your hand. They don't fatigue your arm because uh, you will be wet sanding you know, quite a bit. The other thing is when you're doing the clear coat, you'll need protection. I happen to use one of these little uh, 10 cent masks. Uh, I don't recommend this. I recommend getting one of the... Uh, the ones, they look like this, but they have two big charcoal canisters on the sides. Uh, that's much more protection for yourself because this uh, automotive clear coat is really smelly and really not good for you. And it's attracted to all moisture, like the moisture in your eyes and the moisture in your nose. So I would uh, pick up a better mask than I use, but I get by with this. You also need some kind of eye protection. I just use uh, regular safety glasses. Uh, recommended upgrade to this would be like a science glass that seals to your face. Um, but any kind of eye protection is better than none. You don't want to get this product in your eye if it splashes out of the gun or whatever. You, I don't want to know what happens if you get this product in your eye and it hardens up. It can't be good. Um, the only other thing I use is uh, surgical type gloves. Again, you can pick these up at the hardware store. Uh, on, my, on my final uh, cleaning of the play field, I use these uh, to prevent getting any of the oils from my fingertips on the play field. Uh, basically, during the whole spraying process, uh, I wear these surgical type gloves. Um, and other than that, I think that's all you need.